I've picked up a new habit. It's not smoking or drinking. I do those on occasion, and it's it's not biting my nails or chewing on my, on my hair. It's just gross. And it's not, you know, picking my nose or swearing in front of children. I do those already. <laughs> and it's not, uh, you know, writing down important things or flossing my teeth. But I should do those more. And truth be told, I'm a little embarrassed about it. You see, every day. I wake up, I walk over to the mirror, and I really look at myself. Then I look at myself right in the eye and say, you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. I say it as many times as I have to until I start to mean it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Emoto wrote words on jars of water, love, hate, you're an idiot, thank you. He found that once frozen, Water with positive words formed beautiful, symmetrical crystals, and water with negative words formed ugly, asymmetrical crystals, or no crystals at all. Then, he poured water over three jars of rice and spoke to them. Thank you. You're an idiot. Weeks later, thank you was still white and happy, and you're an idiot was black and mold. The ignored jar tried really hard, but couldn't fend off the mold entirely. And our bodies are mostly water. The rest may not be rice, but I think it works the same. <laughs> my whole life, I told myself I wasn't good enough. I made lists of everything I hated about myself and recited those lists every morning in the mirror. I hate you, you're ugly, your hair is too frizzy, your nose is too big, and what is happening on your face? Why did you want that shirt? It doesn't look good on me. Oh wait. To distract from your frizzy hair and on your face. No. You're worthless. Don't say anything. You have nothing worthwhile to say. And now I say this. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're intelligent and talented. And I love what you're wearing today. You're looking pretty good. And